Hey everybody and welcome to Sports and Ricardo Live One. The high school volleyball finals was in the Oriole Nose League. Actually played on the weekend and we got some winners that were crowned. The BMES Warriors Junior Girls defeated Tabernacle 17-21, 21-17, and 15-12. The MVP there is leading Missick. The Junior Boys Finals, Tabernacle Falcons, they down the Sunline Stingers 21-10, 23-21. Michael Balfour is your MVP. The Senior Girls Finals, the BMES Lady Warriors defeated the Sunline Stingers 21-17 and 15, and Raheem Davis is the MVP. As far as the Senior Boys Finals, St. George's Jaguars put away the BMES Warriors 21-15 and 21-18. Tavon Nichols is the MVP. In the Grandma Volleyball Association play from the weekend, the Bakers Warriors over Youth in Action 25-18, 25-17 in a co-ed affair. The BMES Warriors also down GB Shipyard Cruisers get the score 28-26 and 25-17. And a special thank you to uh, Buster Lang of uh, GB Primetime Sports for providing those pictures for us. Now, the ANG Turf Bulldogs uh, represent Abaco and the Bahamas Softball Federation Nationals. So it's going to be coming up later on this month, folks. And that is all because they, in turn, defeated the, the team of destroyers in a pretty good one as well. Now, as far as slow pitch is concerned, it was a pretty good one as well because you had uh, the men's finals in slow pitch, the Tennessee Lutherans, defeating the Hugh Glow Braves 22 to 9 uh, to win this series. And also 4-1 uh, as far as is concerned. Darren Mortimer was given to win and congratulations of course also from co-ed play Cooper's destroyers also defeated Western Blue Marlins 13 to 2 Leon Cooper senior going the distance and also they win the series 3 to 1 to advance to the finals Pat Uniform Reds they held off of the hangover hooligans 10 to 9 Michael Sweeting got the win they too will advance to the finals who played after the Nationals BMES Warriors over Portside Stockers in a co-ed affair 6 to 5 Cleta Smith got the win and so it's all about softball they're all having fun and they will in turn go and play after they get back from the Nationals. Well, let me tell you that uh, it's going to be a pretty good one because the NFL Sunday was a good one on Grand Bahamas. Some folks crying, some folks smiling. You know it's football Sunday when Brando Stewart puts on a Bears jersey. The Dallas Cowboy fans are thanking the maker that it's a bye week, no win and no loss. Football Sunday challenges and it's a wonderful experience. The Raiders are for real. Celebrate, my brother. Go ahead and celebrate. Okay, get this. OJ and Terrence are Redskin fans and no gear. Shame on them. You guys, that's really tough. RH Coleman, the Buccaneers. Well, they sent them home. Kick them out, RH. Kick them out. Tampa Bay is the NFC rocks. Now these guys just want to get out of the house. You understand. Football Sunday at Chances is a blast. Miami Dolphins have much to cheer about and somewhere... Ellie and the boys live for Sunday at somewhere. Well, Boozy and the Bears lost again, and he's used to that. The chafing that comes with it. Miami won, and they sit now at 2-3. and three. Tracy and the crew are all smiles again. I feel your pain, my brother. Miami won, and that means the neighborhood is gone for the week. And again, I just want you guys to see this. The Carolina Panthers are 5-0, Darren. 5-0. I say no more. That's a look at your sports tonight.